I thought we'd just do a bit of a follow on from the moisture meter uh, video and I've got a selection of fresh felled timber here a piece of ash a bit of gnarly old Scots pine but it is actually, you know, it's only been down a week a piece of birch and this piece is a bit of uh, sweet chestnut but it's been laid out in the wet so therefore this is a bit of a um, just an interest it's not fresh felled it's probably been felled a year and a half but it's soaked up a huge amount of water so leave it outside and we'll just that's an experiment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split slivers of this and then I'm going to weigh them but I'm going to split them off camera because everything will bounce about and there'll be loads of row so here we go I've put them in a cloth just to stop them drying out so uh, even marginally and you see they all look the same now that's the birch and the birch on the moisture meter press that button is coming out at at 60 percent the birch let's just write B I on that this is the gnarly old bit of Scots pine put probes right in there and that's coming out at about 70% SP the ash is coming out at 60% that's quite a small diameter piece of ash about this size I think if you were quite big it would be less moisture content uh, the bit of sweet chestnut that's been laid out in the weeds, in the wet, is coming out at about 35%. So here's just the moisture meter on the birch and with these ones when it gets up to the top of the first scale you press the button and it comes down and reads off the seventh, second scale so that's about sort of 70% something like that and you will notice that the prongs or the probes are across the grain let me just see yeah yeah across the grain don't put them along the grain or you'll get a false reading it's got to be across the grain so here's the scales I've got my notebook ready always mark your bits of timber because uh, you can get confused right sweet chestnut what does that weigh 90 grams the ash 145 Scots pine 95 and the birch 140 so I'm going to air dry these now I'm going to oven dry them um, in the bottom of the Rayburn in the warming oven with the door open and uh, this is obviously a video that will take quite a lot of time to put together So a few days have passed and we've got the samples that are dried. Sweet chestnut. Well I'll just have a look at the book. That now weighs 75 and it, it did weigh 90. 
but that was partially air dried and then wet with rainwater. Scott's pine was 95, now it is 45. So it's lost more than half of its weight. Birch was 140, is now 80. And the ash, it was a bit thick, so I split it down the middle to help it dry, is now 105, and it was 145. Anyway, I put the moisture meter in some of these bits, and they're not totally dry, but the Scots Pine is right on the bottom of the scale. So we're going to work with that one to give you, uh, to show you the method of working out the moisture content. So let's just remind myself it was 45. Right, on with the arithmetic. Now, don't be frightened of this. I realise a lot of people have got no concept of percentages or how to work them out, etc, etc. So I'm just going to talk you through it. I appreciate that some people will switch off at this point, but persevere if you can. Now then, percentages. Very important. Surprising how many people don't realise how much they're paying on their credit card. They don't realise what 20% of a thousand pounds is. So there's 200 pounds. So you're paying 20% uh, on your credit card and you've got a thousand pounds outstanding. You can't pay it off. You're paying another 200 pounds a year. So, and of course, in the past, they used to be serfs and slaves and free men. Well, if you're in debt, it's a lot like being a serf or a slave but you've got yourself there and so it's important to uh, deny yourself a few luxuries which aren't really luxuries they're just consumer uh, wish lists and that way you can become a free man or stay a free person so the banks want you under their thumb they want to be able to push you about and rip you off. And the only way to avoid those is by not getting in debt. Anyway, enough of that. Okay, here we go. Now this is for the Scots Pine. We've got to remember that SP, okay? Now the original weight was green weight was 95 and the dry weight was 45 so effectively the moisture weight is 50 okay now just think about that for a minute The weight of the water is greater than the weight of the wood. So when you're doing arithmetic, it's always very beneficial to uh, have an idea of what the answer is going to be. Just a guesstimate. And then if you get a wildly conflicting answer, you know you've done something wrong. So I'm guessing because the weight of the water is greater than the weight of the dry wood, that the answer is going to be about 105%. But let's work it out. Now, the thing here is we're dealing with the moisture content. So it's the weight of the water that goes on the top of the formula. And then you divide it by the dry weight because it's the weight of the water in relationship to the dry weight. 
and then you multiply that by a hundred to get a hundred percent because we got per cent and cent if you think about it in centimetre there are hundred centimetres in a metre so that's where that sort of the analogy goes so we'll just get the calculator out because you can use a calculator or we can work it out you know, with a pencil but um, we got 50 divided by 45 multiplied by 100 equals <coughs> equals 111 percent so if you were to buy 10 tons of freshly freshly felled scots pine you're actually buying more than five tons of water this is why when we're dealing with firewood it's very important not to buy it by weight but to buy it by volume that way you're getting the volume of timber irrespective of its moisture content if it's wet you want to pay less because then you have to dry it yourself if it's bone dry and somebody spent two years drying it for you then you'd expect to pay more but there you go moisture content on a dry weight basis